Hi, I'm Mr Minashi, Head of Classics at Bab Lake School and welcome to the Classics Department. Uh, classical Civilization is a subject that suits everyone. Uh, it doesn't matter whether you've done the subject before at GCSE or not. It doesn't matter if you're doing sciences, art subject. We believe that we have something in classical civilization that really fits everyone. So it combines fantastically well with all other subjects uh, with a mixture of literature and of culture. Uh, we're very proud of our results at the school. Uh, most of our candidates have gone on to get grade A's or grade B's over the years. Uh, we have had some smaller groups which allows for individual teaching and more personalised teaching. Uh, but this year we have 14 members in our lower sixth form, so it's very difficult to say how many people you might actually be part of. Um, some of you might be thinking, well, where does this subject lead me? You might be fearing that you might be standing in my position in a few years' time giving this talk because that's all you could be equipped for. Um, but that is most definitely not the case. Uh, all the evidence shows that uh, people who do classical civilization are really highly regarded by employers. Um, and it's not just the names that you can see there on that uh, slide. Um, there's actually lots of famous people who have studied either classical civilization or Latin who've gone on to be leaders in their field. Um, and some of them might really surprise you. One of the richest men in Britain, James Dyson, the inventor of the vacuum cleaner, um, studied classics at university. Mark Zuckerberg of Facebook, uh, he too is another famous classicist. Uh, Frank Lampard, the Chelsea manager. Um, uh, it doesn't pigeonhole you into a particular career. It's all about the skills that classics gives you and classical civilization. And what many of the people on this list are famous for is really their ability to speak and write, um, to frame an argument, to be convincing. Um, and we always say, think about the skills you learn rather than the facts you learn because many of you will end up in careers that aren't actually linked to what you have studied, but what you have studied has given you the skills to take on those careers. So, what would you actually do at a classical, in classical civilization uh, at A-level? Well, you have to study some literature, the world of the hero, epic poetry, uh, but there are choices within that, and that makes up 40% of your exam. You might have already studied some of this um, in your GCSE, but we'll be going back over all of it once again. There are two other areas that you will actually study, um, but that depends on who teaches you. So we have offered a variety of subjects in the past, um, from looking at Greek theatre and tragedy to looking at Roman politics. Um, and it depends also on who is to, going to actually teach you and what the, those teachers, their particular interests might be. But we also try and take into account uh, the particular interests of pupils. So if we have a group that are very artistic and creative, we could do the art topic. Um, if they're particularly into drama, maybe the theatre topic is more suitable. So. Um, Really, if, uh, just a recap as to why you should be thinking about classical civilization. Um, small sets, quite possibly personalized teaching, a really stimulating course, um, lots of extracurricular activities. Hopefully, you can't promise anything in the current climate, but every year we take a classics trip abroad. Uh, we also go to the British Museum. Every year we have been to plays in the last year. Um, we have taken people to study days and lots of sites, St Albans, um, London, Roxeter, just to name a few. Okay, thank you.